Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. First off, I'd like to say thank you for tuning into the channel and, and for those of you that are have already subscribed and are here most every time I put up a video, thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate you coming in. And uh, for those of you that maybe haven't been here yet, thank you. Welcome. Come on in. So uh, see what happens when you tune in. You get two welcomes. So anyway, today I want to talk about uh, uh, utilizing grab and die sets. I had a request to put this video up. So uh, Streeter Boys Outdoors, this this is for you. Uh, appreciate y'all. Appreciate you tuning in and, and appreciate the request as well. Uh, so without any further ado, let's just jump right into this thing. Okay, so what we got going here, guys, we've got a good, we've got a nice tall backing here. We've got a really nice little runway right through here where the coyotes and, and are traveling through. You can see I've got my trap already bedded here, and I've got it so they're coming, when they come, they come between the jaws and not over the jaws. Uh, we're back, oh, about 10 inches from the backing the pan center. Uh... And all I do for my grab and dies, I just take a stick, and it could be any stick. It could be a dowel. It could be a piece of PVC pipe, that you know, half inch. Uh, it could be just a stick. It can be any dang thing you want to use that you can stick in the ground. You can even use short pieces of rebar if you have to, if the ground's frozen. And uh, what I do is I wrap, I wrap the top of the stick with, with uh, coband or vet wrap whatever you want to call it, whatever the, the term is in your part of the country. Uh, now, I prefer the colored when I can get it, and I prefer, for, as far as colors, I want black, white, or, or red. Black, white, red, or blue, I'm sorry. One of those four, and the reason I want one of those four, black and white, we know canines can see black and white. There's also been scientific studies done that say that they can see the color blue as well. And there's possibility that they can see the color red. So I want one of those four colors. Now, I'm out of the color right at the moment. I've got to pick some up, so I'm just using plain brown. If plain brown is all you can get, it will work. You don't have to use the colored. You could also split the top of these if you can get them split and put a couple of cotton balls down inside there. Uh, you can use just about anything that will hold a lure or bait that you want to use here. And as far as lure and bait goes, I would you want something that they want to eat. You want something that they want to grab a hold of and pull. What this simulates is the top of a getter gun, an M44. You want something that they want to grab a hold of and pull on. And you want to get these things in there good and solid because you don't want them just coming up, grabbing it, and running off with it. You want to make them stay here and work at it. And the more work he has to do, the more dance, you know, the more steps he takes in the dance, the more apt he's able, he's liable to, to land a, a paw in our trap. So those are some key important things that you need to be uh, you need to be thinking about when you put these in. And all I do. Just drive this thing in the ground as hard as I can get it, as deep as I can get it. This old ground's hard. We did get a little shower last night, but it sure didn't amount to much. Height, I haven't noticed that it makes a difference. Try to keep them down there around, oh, four to eight inches out, out of the ground. Um, I don't want them clear up here if I can help it. Although, if you did get it clear up here, it would keep his head and his nose up here versus down here at his feet you know that might be i've never i've never tried it so maybe that's something y'all might want to try and that might be an advantage you don't know till you try um but anyway we've got our trap bedded in here we're in here good and solid we're back we're back exactly eight inches from our attractor pan center we've got our backing in here now all we have to do is put in our, is go ahead and cover the trap, blend this out, this area out a ways, and create our walkthrough. So let's go ahead and get that done right quick.
Again, I don't use a sifter very dadgum often because I like that rough look. Coyotes are not used to walking on smooth ground. Lay these rocks in here. We'll need them here in a bit to, for a little guiding if you want. You can lay some of those pebbles and rocks around there. It isn't going to hurt a thing. Got Go ahead and pack cover the trap in again. Flip your chunks out. Pile those, pile those up back there at the back towards the dog and that'll keep that coyote off of the dog of your trap. Put that out. Okay. Now, we are pretty well covered. Now, all we have to do, we've got our smooth spot over the pan. It's a little more covering there. Now, all we have to do is blend this out four, five, six feet each way. Blend that in. Go ahead and lay these rocks up here. A little more to kind of help create our walkthrough area and if you don't have something you don't have enough all you have to do is bring something in with you go find you a rock it could be a stick could be a rock could be anything just like that I don't like them necessarily this big a lot of times, but this is what I had handy. I like something either, oh, about the size of a grapefruit to about no bigger than a football when I can use them, but this is handy. This is what I have here. We're back eight. We're back, we got about a 16, 15, 16 inch runway here for them wide. Coyotes come through. We're gonna take some, we're gonna take a coyote here. Let me get my shadow out of the way here. Maybe that'll show up a little better for you. And the, the, the beauty of using these grab and die sticks, guys, is that when you go to pull this set, you take your bait and lure with you. That way you're not habituating coyotes to that smell. So that next year or the next time that you come in here, you can put that same bait and lure back out and you still got the wow factor of it. You haven't habituated them to it to where they, they've smelled it and they say, oh, well, I'm, I'm done with that. I've already, I know what that is. Time to move on. Anyway, that would be the completed set on a grab and die. I will swing that camera around just a minute here and get you a better look at it because I see the shadow is, is not going to allow it. All right, guys, there you got a better idea, better look at it. Uh, just a simple, simple little deal that uh, will sure enough take a bunch of coyotes if you put them in. All right, guys, that pretty well concludes this little video. I know it isn't very long. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be complicated. It's a pretty simple little deal, really. Uh, I... Sorry, I had to get on timber there a minute. So uh, anyway, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping in. I appreciate y'all. Uh, if you would, hit that thumbs up for me. Leave me a comment down below. Maybe go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you would, please. I'd sure appreciate it. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one, signing out.